For weeks now, Kenyans have continued to endure the disappointment that has become the scarcity of the essential commodity. The NASA presidential candidate getting a first-hand experience at this retail store in Westlands area of Nairobi. When I asked them, they told me, see, there was a label there, and they said that you're only allowed to buy two packets. But it was not there. They told me that uh, they ran out of stock last evening. When I asked them when they got the stock, they said they got it at 2 o'clock. Just last week, the government had indicated that technical hitches had delayed the clearance of May's consignment into the country. These imports were aimed at easing the existing shortage that has now seen a number of small-scale millers close shop across the country. But Odinga says this is a choreographed ploy to use unga for political gains towards the general election. The administration is withholding its services with a view to procuring and supplying food in the final weeks to the elections so that relief food can be used as a tool to buy support and the use uh, to be done in, as, as used to be done in the Kanu days. It's a cruel and heartless way to seek to retain power. Less than two weeks ago, the NASA presidential candidate had proposed procurement of mess from the Ethiopian government. The president must end this famine instead of telling Kenyans only every other day that he's going to accept defeat. What he should do is to accept that he has been defeated in fighting this hunger and famine war. While his advice seems not to have been taken, he feels the maize importation is yet to benefit majority of Kenyans. The small scale, local millers and pusher mills who command over 60% of the Unga market have been given no allocation at all to date. Yet the president had the courage to ask why there is no Unga in the counties. It is again all crocodile tears. This even as a meeting between the Council of Governors and Agriculture Cabinet Secretary Willie Bett resolved to allow county governments to manage small irrigation schemes within counties while the national government runs mega irrigation projects in the path towards food security. The meeting also sought intervention mechanisms including possible waiver of duty on imported rice and other cereals. I'm sure some of them don't know me. You know, the launch of the NASA manifesto that had been scheduled for tomorrow and that was expected to outline the opposition plans for food security has since been postponed. Sam Gitu Kusanda Live.